I think we can all agree that State of Survival has been a hot mess this week. And therefore, I'm naming this series This Week in State of Survival. It is 9am while I'm recording this, so don't blame me for the very unoriginal title. We should have known that this week would be a shit show, given the fact that last week ended terribly. You remember that bug after the update where all your defense heroes would be removed from your wall, and literally thousands of players just lost two years of progress? Yeah, pretty painful if you ask me. Thank god State of Survival fixed this and all players should have been compensated by now. Now, Monday rolled around and that also meant the release of Limitless Heroes. The old Gen 2, Trish, Jeb and Wolfie got their steroids and they are now the strongest heroes in game. I was slurping from my coffee while watching Godzilla's video on the Limitless Heroes and I basically spit it out while seeing the strength of their skills. Here is a picture of the aftermath, but this is literally nothing compared to what happened Tuesday. A lot of states, including mine, finally got their merch, but if you thought that it would run smooth, you are unfortunately terribly wrong. A few days prior, State of Survival had officially released the merch grouping and all those states started planning their merch. I swear to god, get ready for this one. The devs decided to change the merch grouping last minute. And literally, imagine the scenes. You've been planning a merch for like a fucking two weeks or something and a day before the merch, State of Survival decides to completely switch up your merch grouping. I would have lost my sanity. Plain and simple. GG for the players in this state that haven't lost their sanity. You are literally the GOATS. Wednesday was actually a pretty peaceful day. And you know what else is peaceful? Not having to deal with major issues when you're buying bundles. And that's where today's video sponsor comes in. Paxify offers bundles at a cheap rate for State of Survival players. And their fast onboarding system makes it extremely easy to purchase bundles. If you are interested, make sure to check the link down below. Back to Wednesday. It was literally the silence before the storm. Players were scrolling through the app store. Whilst all of a sudden, the State of Survival app was completely gone. For a hot second, I thought that State of Survival got fed up with themselves, but I should have known that they don't have this much self-understanding. And it wasn't actually State of Survival, but literally the biggest tech giant in the world, Apple. And the first thing I did whilst waking up was informing the Jumping Gorilla Discord server. And this is literally the most important thing of what I said. Apple woke up and chose violence. And to quote Ray Grimes from The Walking Dead, They're fucking with the wrong people. You can try to fuck with your community, you can try to fuck with small YouTubers, you can try to fuck with anyone basically, but you're not winning against a multinational like Apple. So what basically happened is that State of Survival failed to fulfill their contract obligations. This is how I mentioned it in the Jumping Gorilla server. Basically, apps are required to pay a certain percentage of the revenue towards Android and uh, the App Store. And the thing is, these prices need to be stable for a certain amount of time. Long story short, you can just change them the whole time. And Apple just said fuck you. They basically violated their contracts with Apple and they literally said Bye! For now the app is back in the App Store, but don't think that this is over. If you have seen my previous videos about payment issues, then you know that State of Survival is doing some very sneaky stuff behind the backs of Android and Apple. Today is Friday, it's 10.30am and nothing has happened just yet. But I'm very curious to see if something amazing shows up today. But in the meantime, go outside, have a drink, Enjoy your coffee and I'll see you later for a new video. Bye!